There's a beautiful white cedar tree over there. Melia Azadarak. That's what it's called. There's a native Australian kind and another kind from Syria or somewhere. They're related to each other. Syrian bead tree it's been called. It's putting on a beautiful autumn display. It's a very drought resistant tree, good shade tree, beautiful timber. It has invasive roots so you don't plant it over a sewer, sewer pipes or water pipes or close to house foundations. But it's a beautiful tree, Melia Azadarak. Melia? Melia. Very drought resistant. The beads on it, it's been called Syrian bead tree. The beads in Catholic countries have been used to make rosary beads. They are attractive little bead affairs. Like they're made out of wood, they can be polished. Neurotoxic, the leaves are neurotoxic. They're poison, but they have beautiful timber. They're sometimes called neem tree, but they're not a neem tree. The neem tree is another sort of tree, but these are popularly called neem trees sometimes for some reason, but they're not neem trees. They're neurotoxic. Look how lovely and yellow they are in autumn. Amazingly drought resistant. What other virtues can I describe? Oh, it has beautiful flowers in springtime and it does have a lovely perfume. Beautiful tree. That's only a small one. It gets several times bigger than that. It's going yellow for me, isn't it? It's putting on a beautiful display. Wonderful. If the sun was shining more brightly, it would be even yellower to look at. They do sucker a bit, I think. Yes, they can sucker a little. Not that much, but they do sucker a bit. Wonderful tree. So many virtues. A lot of people don't like it though because it attracts the white cedar moth. So if you've got the white cedar moth and children, there'll be lots of caterpillars around and those stinging sort of caterpillars. So don't plant it if you've got children around and you don't, you know, you don't want lots of caterpillars. They're hairy caterpillars and they do sting. Some people don't like them for that reason. That's one drawback, but I don't mind hundreds of caterpillars coming indoors to spend the winter. You just open the window once they've turned into moths. They'll leave at night time, just turn the bed lamp on and open the window and they'll fly, they'll fly out. Or we'll put, put the light on outside the window and they'll fly out the window. Lovely tree. Really lovely. Lovely grounds I've got here, don't you think? There's another white cedar tree over that way. There it is. It's growing near some Chinese pistach pistachio trees. Nice autumn display. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, almost reached its full glory. Uh, it's white cedar tree. That's a white cedar tree in autumn. Very drought resistant. And just next door we've got Chinese pistace, pistacio, Chinese pistace, pistacio sinensis, looking lovely. Look at that leaf display. Look at that leaf display and those red berries. Lovely. But we're talking about the white cedar tree and its beautiful drought resistant qualities and its lovely autumn display. Look at that. So lovely.
There's another over at the old hut, look. Look at that display of white cedar. Lovely. Can stand terrible drought once established. Amazing and useful tree. Wonderful. There's a white cedar tree grown by my fence. Quite large trees, they can get bigger than this. And they do have a nice autumn display. Nice autumn display. As you can see. Way up high. There's some white cedar leaves shining in the afternoon autumn sunshine. Look at them shining. Just turning yellow now on that big high tree. Way up high. They do go to a big size, quite a big size. Bigger than that actually, they can get bigger than that. There's a lovely big white cedar on the boundary fence. Golden in the afternoon sun, autumn down under 2014. Turning more golden. In the afternoon sun. Very big tree, good sized tree that one. Here are some white cedar leaves up close on a small tree that grew from a seed. Look at those lovely yellow leaves. Remember the leaves are neurotoxic. They're neurotoxic, the leaves, they're poison. But it's still a beautiful handy tree to have around. This one grew from a seed and I'm going to leave it there. Yes, this one grew from a seed and I'm going to leave it there. It's going to go to sleep for the winter now. They are deciduous and it's going to go to sleep for the winter and it'll wake up in spring with beautiful blossoms and green leaves. But it's autumn now. It's going to sleep for the winter. I'm going to leave this tree here and it's going to grow into a huge tree. And it's going to be wonderful. It is. It's going to be wonderful. White cedar, Milia azedarach. <laughs>